You got two patties, and in between you got more cheese. Oh man, this just this just diving. Why are we talking? Let's just let's just take a bite. Today, we're at Westfield Valley Fair Mall in San Jose, California. They opened up in 1986, and they have over 214 stores, 58 eateries, and it's all over two levels, and they're still expanding. But we're not here for the mall. We're here for Shake Shack. Let's go. Shake Shack, we finally made it. Um, they started out as a hot dog cart in 2001 in New York City, and they evolved all the way until having a whole bunch of chains all over the world. There's two in the Bay Area as of now. This one is the first one in San Jose. Um, so it's, we're part of history, I'm glad to be a part of it, and I'm more glad to be a part of eating it. So we're here, um, they do burgers, chicken burgers, fries, Custards, also adult drinks. Thanks for joining me. It's Tony Hang. I'm gonna share everything with you in this video right now. Let's go. Oh shoot. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Later. So the food came and they're very nice. Um, they brought everything. Here's just a quick overview. We got the burgers here. We have four burgers, the fries, the root beer float, we got lemonade, cookies and cream, we got some extra sauces, and we're just gonna dive into each one. So we're here at Shake Shack, we got four burgers, one fries with cheese, and a whole mess of drinks and desserts. So this is the Shack Burger here. You got the 100% Angus beef going on, you got the potato roll, the Shack sauce, lettuce, tomato, Cheese. Here we go. This is the original. Wow. I'll tell you right off the bat, that's a slobber knocker. So right here, do you taste the meat? Every bite you get, morsels of meat, and there's like a little fat, there's a little bit of lean meat and it just all goes well together. The meat juices, they're forming all over the, the veggie, the bread, every bite you have, it's like burger essential oils. One special thing about um, Shake Shack's burgers, they cook it on a cast iron pot. And it's a special one designed specially for Shake Shack. So every single patty that you get, um, you're gonna have that nice char. They smash it one time with a spatula, and then they never touch it until they flip it. So you're gonna get a nice char, a nice um, crisp when you're biting into the meat, and you can taste it all over. All right. I don't know how many bites I took. I think I took three bites. This is my fourth bite. So um, they're pretty small. You get at least two to fill you up. But let's go in for, I guess, the last bite of the Shack Burger, the classic. And when you get at least try, if you don't know what to get, just get the Shack Burger. You'll be happy. I also got their, one of their famous lemonades. Yeah, nice and 
fresh. I like it. So let's talk about the bun. The bun here is a nice uh, Martin potato roll, and it's nice and squishy. You can do the little squish test right here. Nice. It's like a yellowish hue to it. They butter both sides, so that's really nice. Um, and they also have a special mechanism here, kind of ripped off, but it's a hinge. It's a bigger hinge here. And what that does is just, it prevents the burger from falling out. It captures all the, the juices. It also helps the structure to say, hey, you know, don't fill me up too much. Cause if you do, you're not gonna fit everything inside. So you wanna make sure the, the filling to, to bun ratio is real nice. So next up, we got the shroom burger. And this is for you veggie lovers out there. Same layout as uh, the classic Shack burger. Um, we got the Martin potato roll with the hinge. Uh, Semi hinge on this one. You got the tomato, the lettuce, the Shack sauce. And then this, this one in particular is a deep fried portobello mushroom. Okay. Oh, I think there's a surprise inside the mushroom. So it's a deep fried portobello mushroom, but there's something inside it. And it's a nice surprise. Looks like some cheddar cheese. cheese and mushrooms and your vegetarian a great option the cheese also looks like it has some peppers in there almost like a pimento kind of feel to it it melts it's uh i think it's different from the actual cheese on top so it could be a combination but it's really good the portobello mushroom is nice and meaty it's earthy it has a lot of flavor a lot of umami flavor and then it gives it a little crunch, little crunch on the outside. And uh, just a quick question for you viewers. Are you guys uh, Team Shake Shack or Team In-N-Out? By the end of this video, maybe we'll know. Or maybe we have to do a, an In-N-Out review as well. Okay, back to the shroom burger. The shroom burger is really appetizing. It's actually, it'll actually satisfy you. It's a little bit lighter, it's a good option. Let's talk about the sauce, the Shake Shack sauce. So I believe it's a tomato, put some ketchup, pickle juice inside, you get a little zang. It's nice and refreshing on a hot day like this in uh, San Jose, summertime. You guys smell that? Oh man. The, the aromas, the aroma of the burger. I forgot to talk about it. I was just enjoying it for myself. But if we had smell of vision, you you really love it. Um, you're getting a lot of a beef smell. Um, you could probably bottle it up and just spray someone before lunchtime. That 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 would be me. So I'm smelling it, and it's pretty intoxicating. I could just. I could just be here for like a couple hours. All right guys, so we gotta try the fries. These are the cheese fries. You can opt for the, the regular fries. You can opt for um, bacon on top. They're pickle cut fries. They have cheese on them. They might remind you of french fries when you were in school. You might see them in some store. It kind of gives me like a nostalgic feeling. I like their fries, nicely salted. There's a little crisp on the outside. On the inside, it's a little fluffy. And they got the cheese sauce. So the cheese sauce kind of puts it over a little bit. All right, we'll get some fries here. I'm gonna dip them in the honey mustard. Oh yeah, the honey mustard's nice and tangy and light. Mustard flavor, a little sweet. Maybe there's some honey in there. There's some red specks in here. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's some cayenne, maybe it's some paprika. It gives it a little something extra.
But the next burger we're going for is a Golden State Double Burger. And what's special about this burger is it's regional. So there's only two Shake Shacks that I'm aware of in the Bay Area. It's this location in San Jose and also Palo Alto. It's about 20, 30 minutes away from here, a little bit south, south of San Francisco. So the special thing about this beef here, it's 100% grass-fed. It's a Richard's grass-fed beef. Uh, cheeseburger, um, it has a white cheddar on it. So instead of the traditional yellow cheddar, you got the white cheddar. And on the inside, lost pickle. There was three pickles. I believe there's a smoked aioli. Aioli is just a fancy word for mayo. So eggs, oil, spices, salt, sugar. Maybe a little garlic powder. We got the Golden State single grass fed beef with the white cheddar and the smoked aioli. Mm -hmm. So, this is a nice, uh, well balanced burger. Not too big, not too small. I noticed they smash their burger to like the right amount because you get a uh, maximum surface area. Uh, once it goes in your mouth, it's on your taste buds, it's on the roof of your mouth, it's on your inside of your cheeks. So you got the, the pickles, you got the smoked aioli. The pickles give it a nice contrast because you get a little acidity to, to help cut out the fat. That's a nice touch. I'm not sure if I ever had a smoked aioli, but the smoked aioli, pretty pleasing. You can taste that smoke in there, extra flavor, almost like a like a barbecue flavor when the smoke hits, goes through the meat and you see a little pink layer. I don't see a pink layer here, but I taste it. So pretty good. I'm gonna try the, the barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. It pairs really well. There's a lot of flavors coming through. It doesn't need it, um, but you can just eat the, the golden single cheese. And remember, it's only at two locations, so if you're in the area, Palo Alto or San Jose, um, go ahead and get it, because I know in, I think, Santa Monica, SoCal area, they have their own regional uh, specialty burger. So make sure you check those out. Sometimes they have special ingredients like avocado, like they do here today, and, and a few other things. Oh, I forgot the root beer float. So you got the root beer float. And if you know me, I love root beer. This one is from Abita Drafting Company. Okay, so the root beer is real nice. It has that sweet flavor, it has that bite. It's, um, it's cold, carbonated, and also has that licorice flavor with some spice flavor that you're looking for. So I'm a fan of it. And if you mix it with some ice cream, ooh, oh man, that's pretty good. That's a that's a match made in heaven right there. Last but not least, we got the smoke shack. I got the double. Do I need a double? Oh yeah, I need a double. You got the Martin potato roll, the soft squishy bun, yellowish hue, and you got the the burger hinge. Um, some people call it burger diaper they got the beef essential oils in there all the beef just melted and it's all over the cheese and the veggies and the hinge the bun the butter rolled bun and then over here you got some cherry peppers and they're not messing around they give you a lot of cherry peppers the cheddar cheese it, i believe it's a processed american cheese but the good thing about that is it, it melts really nice and it has a good mouth feel so it just ties everything together with the beef you got two patties and in between you got more cheese oh man this just this just dive why are we talking let's just let's just take a bite FYI, while I'm filming, I'm eating all these burgers. My hands are, they're, they're pretty greasy. Not too greasy, but a little greasy, so. All right, back to the burger. Let's get serious. So this burger right here, it makes my burger dreams come true. The flavor's intense, you get a little heat. 
a little spiciness from the, the cherry peppers, the chops, it's a, a nice texture. You got the seeds going on, giving a little heat. You got the melty cheese in between each patty. You got the, the patty, which has the morsels of meat, lean, fat. And then you got the smashed burger, where you know they're cooking it on a, on a special cast iron grill, specially made for Shake Shack on the Martin Roll, all together, it's nicely structured. Oh yeah, yeah. The cheese mixed with the meat and the bread, and the other things makes it really luscious. If you look for over the top, this is one of them right here. Just get an extra patty with cheese and whatever your choice of topping, Shake Shack sauce on it. So it just ties everything all together really well. All right guys, so we gotta go for the shake. It's a little melted by now. It's a cookies and cream. Oh yeah, if you're looking for a shake, you get the Oreos, nice and creamy, uh, sweet, get a little texture from the cookies. It's real nice. Pretty happy. So last burger bite here, Shake Shack sauce. I'm gonna do a little ketchup. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you still get that char from the meat. Everything's super good. Um, I'm just gonna finish this and be happy. Hi, my name's Angel. Came here to help out Tony. Very friendly guy, hope you like the food. How oh, for you, sure. How did you yeah. like it? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, it made my, my burger dreams come true. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the dream? Yeah. Golden State, State uh, Shack Burger and Smoke Shack and what else? Yeah, I got the, the Shroom Shroom Stack as well. Or just the Shroom Burger. Shroom Burger? Yeah. Which one was your favorite out of all of them? Uh, if I had, oh man, you put me in a tough spot. Yeah. Uh, if I had a pick, I'd, I'd go with the, I'd go with just the classic. Classic Shack Burger? The classic Shack Burger, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, the double, the double one's pretty the good too. The double one's pretty good, double the patty. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right, it was man. pretty good. Yeah, thanks for having me. Angel, Angel was amazing. Um, give him a thumbs up and he, he helped take care of me. And it's, uh, it was an awesome experience here at the Shake Shack in uh, at Valley Fair, San Jose, California. Yeah, yeah thank you, All right, man. Thank you, brother. Take, take care. Take care. All right, take care. Bye. All right, everyone. So we just came to the end of this video. Shake Shack. Slobber knocker burgers, super awesome, upgraded fast food. If you're gonna get a nice burger, you can't go wrong going to Shake Shack here at Westfield Valley Fair in San Jose, California. Should I do a review of Shake Shack versus In-N-Out? Should I do a separate In-N-Out video and maybe you guys can do the comparison? I don't know. Just wanna give a giant thanks to the viewers, to you, and a humongous thanks to Shake Shack for just provided me the awesome food and experience. Also want to give a big shout out to Angel. Um, he took care of me today. Just appreciate that, he's a very uh, positive guy. Big shout outs to also um, my family. Just want to say thank you. Uh, Victor and Paul, please like in the video, subscribe. And if you haven't already, click the bell notification icon so you know when I post up more videos. All right, so stay positive and stay hungry and I'll see you in the next video. All right, and stick around. Uh, we got more videos here. You can click on one of the links on my left or right or wherever it's located. Um, just more content there. And enjoy, take care. Oh no, there's a lost pickle.